time again, exposing the truth. Welcome to Coffee Time Again, exposing the truth. Dale at the microphone, the show that demonstrates how history repeats itself. He digs into the past, shows what happens and how it is happening now. Follow the path of history to where it goes, then relate it to today to reveal the connections. The culture that forgets its history has no future. A history buff and loves to talk about it, going back as far as ancient Greeks and Egyptians and beyond. So grab your coffee, your chair, and listen to the show. Hope you enjoy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Dale, your host of Coffee Time Again, Exposing the Truth. Today we're exposing the truth of Michael. M well, I'm not even going to try to butcher his last name. Right my, my, Michael McGrooch. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to butcher it anyway. He can do it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome to the show, Michael. I'm going to allow you to tell us about a little bit about you and get started. Uh, so take it off. Thank you for having me. Thank you for giving me a canvas to paint. Uh, I'm born, I was born in Vienna, Austria. I was a sick child. I, I was seven, I went to school. I got basically punched in the face with my dyslexia and dysgraphia. I, I couldn't read, write, and stuttered. Uh, and literally can never be a part of a system because I, the dyslexia doesn't allow me to regurgitate or do something over and over again. So I, I can always be in the moment. So that's why I don't prepare for podcasts. I can be only good in podcasts because I'm not prepared. Yeah. If, if I'm prepared, so I say, don't show me the questions. Don't You just ask me the question, I answer so um so when i was 30 i looked at my i looked at my resumes and i said man that was, everything was art i think i am an artist even though people didn't say i'm an artist you know you, said, you know because artists looked at hobby and they yeah. said ah, you know you're not an artist but i said i am an artist because everything i did wasn't anything with school job or anything i would i was just i could make a little bit of bucks with uh, uh, being a dj selling tapes out of my trunk, uh, producing fashion shows, produce, did, did certain things, but I I wasn't any good at anything other than art. And by 30, I said, oh, I'm an artist. I don't care if anybody calls me an artist, I am an artist. And that led to a lot of things because just that choice, making, making that choice and not depending on other people calling me an artist or being good or being bad, <coughs> excuse me, we, I, I just forged on and uh, actually all the stuff happens from there on. People came to me and said, can you be a part of me? Can you help me? Can you create that? And I was never rich, but uh, but it, it was a beautiful way of living, you know, just uh, dancing with all those people. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good, I'm glad you said, made that at 30, making that kind of decision and said, I don't care what they think. I'm an artist. Yep. Yep. I like that. That's, that's a good, healthy way to look at things. Yep. And I couldn't do anything else. Dale. I couldn't do anything else. I mean, yeah. I couldn't be an accountant. I have dyslexia. Yeah. I would switch <laughs> all the, the numbers around, you know? Oh, tell me about Bob <laughs> numbers. Yeah. I can't add exactly. two or two and come up with four. Exactly. <laughs> come up with three. Yeah, I have dyslexia myself, Michael, and it is rough. But although I was able to... I don't have it yeah. bad enough, but I, so I was able to have a couple of careers, but it was rough. Yeah. Then I retired and found podcasting. Now I'm home. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because now you're human. Now it's all about your humanity. It's not about what you can do, your skill. It's not about the skill. It's about no. being human, just being you, it's talking easy. to another human. That's what yeah. I did. I don't pre-write the <laughs> questions. I just let them come up as they come up. Yeah. I do use the ones that you put in here because I think they, if yeah. you put them in there, you consider them to be a little bit important. Yeah. So uh, I put them in here and I ask them and I ask my questions as they come up. And what I'm going to ask is, you have said you haven't been rich, but it sounds like you've had a pretty good lifestyle. I lived a great life. I never had enough. I was When I was an arch commissioner, even, I lived on food stamps. I was selected <laughs> by six of seven councilmen to be a, an arts commissioner. Mm -hmm. I was sworn in. I was a full politician. I lived on food stamps. I had to survive on food stamps because I had no way of making money. No. 
because yeah. art, artists are poor. Most yeah. artists are poor. They are. Yeah. So. My sister's a starving artist. Yeah, because it's the magic that you have when you create art. There is yeah. so much magic, and you want to don't want to give that up for an eight to uh, uh, five job. And then when you get the product, and the product doesn't sell, which it's not about the product of the art product. It's about the creation. You know, it's right. like with the podcast. It's about the creation. We we also both we want that a lot of people listen to us, but even if they don't, we have a good time now. Yeah. That's that, that's the magic. You know? Exactly the way I feel. I don't have a whole lot of listeners. I have about two hundred, I think, three hundred. Yeah. Uh, but but that's okay. And yeah. That many people listening to me. Yeah. That, that's great. Yeah. If I only had one, I'd still be happy with it. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this for them. I'm doing this for me. Exactly. And do right. the best job that you can do in the moment. Right. right? And if you feel yeah. good, you're better. If you feel bad, you're not not and that is good. But it, you gotta do the best job that you can do. There's nothing That's else to good. do. That's right. So why don't we know anything about art and creativity? Is one of your first questions. We don't know because we are this is what my what I always say, you know, I always look at humanity of my life when I found out. What is human human centric means we are all eight billion people are one of one. There's no nature made us, nature God made us one of one. Otherwise, nature would have just done what systems do to us. They say, oh, there's male, female, and there is race. And and everybody's generalized. But generalizing is always kind of a racism because you see it right now. Uh, uh, one leader does something, you know, Russia, Ukraine, uh, uh, Israel, and Palestine, they're fighting because the leaders decide we have a war. Mm -hmm. And instantly the whole world and on the universities now, they're fighting each other because you're born there. It's yeah. the same thing as you're born black. You're yeah. born there. There's nothing you can do. If you politically, if you say, I want to, oh, I want to be part of the Nazi party or whatever, there's some, there's a responsibility there. But there's no responsibility because you're born Jewish or, or born Palestinian or Russian or Ukrainian. Anywhere of the, on the whole world, the people look at you differently. Oh, Ukraine just did that horrible thing. Americans, when we do something, yeah. you think our, uh, our leader said, okay, we drop an atomic bomb. Do you think the people in um, uh, all of a sudden looked at us differently? They looked at us, you know, they, they loved us after the Second World War. They loved Americans after the Second World War. Yeah. Uh, and the first one, uh, because they were saviors and whatever. And then uh, they dropped the bomb. That and then Vietnam, you know, it's like the leaders make a decision. It's, you know, and we are, we are also dependent on, uh, uh, the leaders are also dependent on, in war, especially with, um, on the taxes, because without taxes, they don't have to pay for war. The taxes pay for war. Yeah, we do. And, we, and when you don't pay your taxes, you get in jail. If you want to say, oh, I, I want to pay my taxes, but they're not used for war to kill other people that I don't even know. You can't say that. You have, don't have the right. And the same thing is with art. Art, they look at the product, whatever money you can make with the product. And mm -hmm. if you're not somebody that is liked or, or the product is think what happens is oh. that you're not an artist nobody sees you as an artist if you don't have a podcast that has billions of viewers and base which have one percent makes 98 percent of all the money mm -hmm. all the money that's in podcast if you're not one of the, nobody gives any a hoot about you no you know it's it's always that that few leaders and that's why i say it's a lie that we all live, you know. It, the, yeah. the art is our superpower, which you know, because you wouldn't be anything if you didn't create something. Right. Made out of something of you, you know, create right. something about you. So our first superpower is creativity and art. Art is the highest because it doesn't have a context. I mean, I can make an artful shoe, but there's a context to it. Art was wants nothing other than to be created and exposed. So if you right. create some art, and show it to your mom or show it to your kid, that's enough. Yeah. The, the, then the business side of it, the product, the, you know, the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, um, 
uh, it looks like a commodity. The commodity, yeah. when 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 the art is taken as a commodity, then it's all about a lot of people have to see it. Museums have to think money, 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 money. <clears throat> But that's a, a 0.001% that do, that actually can get an attention like that, you know? I know. I, uh, out of all the people on PodMatch, I'm 307th on the list. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't even look at that, Dale. I don't even look at that. I, 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 I just happened to notice it today. I, uh, yeah. I, I, my, I support my podcast myself. Yeah. Me too. And Alex is such a great guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, San Felipe is he's so a human centric. He's totally yeah. a human. He sees yeah. human as one on one and he wants to help. Yeah. And he says, I do the best that I can do. That's right. And that's why I love this guy and Alicia, his wife. We, we uh, do the best that we can do all the time. Then eventually something breaks through. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how long that may take, but eventually <clears throat> it will break through, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it happens or it doesn't happen. It really it really doesn't. For some oh. people, it happens all the time. Whatever yeah. they touch, it turns to gold. Whatever they touch. But we find out that these people are not happy either. No. Nope. So be, because you have to have the confidence. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it's not. Not every harvest is the same in nature. And we are part of nature. You know? I am. And we have and it's about existing in the moment. It's not about, oh, I gotta be more and more and more and always more. Then collectively we have it's never enough, whatever I do. You know? No. I uh was gonna say something now I forgot what it was. Doesn't matter. Take your time. Yeah, I uh, am uh, a podcaster because I was bored with retirement. Yeah. It's a, yeah. Yep. Find out I really enjoy it. The interviews, I enjoy writing a, a lot of my podcasts or audio that I've written, you know, dealing with mostly politics, yep. constitution, and founding fathers and all kinds of stuff of justice, everything. Yeah. And they're all audio. And then I started doing interviews and I'm going, wow, this is a whole new thing for me. And the first one was scary. This one's easy. Yep. <laughs> And it gives you more knowledge. It gives you more awareness yeah. because the superpower of humans is because everybody's a one on one. <clears throat> so if you and I <coughs> talk about, even if we say both we are Republicans or Democrats or whatever, we can be talking about the same thing, not you know, we against them. We can talk about the same thing and we can be clearer about the Democrats or the Republicans by just talking about it. Because my view on this person or your view on that person, and we can dance with each other and open our perspective. That's what real knowledge is. It's not knowledge to a linear, oh, this, this person said this. I don't care what that person said. That was his contribution and his viewpoint. Mm -hmm. But you, your viewpoint is exactly as important than Andrew Jackson's, whatever. It's just, it it doesn't matter. It's you, Or Washington, it, he's system, system relevant, but we are living now and you can look at Washington's stuff yeah. and say, okay, I think that's a great perspective and I have something to say to that too. It's all about building on each other. We We get our humanity our potential we really see when we exchange with each other dance that's why podcasts are so uh so powerful and politics are so weak because politics is me i have my rules left or right against your rules and it's made human talk systemic that's why nothing goes on in politics it's a stagnant thing that's either or win or lose it's yeah. not win or win better it's ever always win, win or lose, win or lose, because it's systemic. It is, and I agree with you on that. Politics is uh, just a great way to start an argument. Mm -hmm. That's I, it. I believe yeah. in, you can be a disagreeable without being disagreeable. You can disagree exactly. with somebody and not be disagreeable. I mean, I have conversation. I live in an assisted living facility. Yeah. And I, we have dinners together. 
Mm -hmm. I have two people we talk uh, a lot of politics, particularly Ukraine and Gaza. Uh, yeah. Egypt, Egypt and Gaza, I mean. And we talk a lot about Trump. And none of us get angry. Yeah. Why would yeah. you? Why, why would you? Yeah, uh, it, you don't have to. We can express our point of view. Our perspective. And nobody's going to get angry. Exactly. So beautiful. Yep. That's why I say human centricity is always more worth than system relevance. System right. relevance is whatever the system needs, you've got to deliver that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that's very limited. Human centricity is there's 8 billion different humans. They all have something to contribute to say something. And by listening, you see the potential grow. That's why the power broadcasting is so powerful because it's not a news media where 20 people make a, a news and, and say, what, what is getting people up, upset and what gets them uh, engaged and whatever. It's just two people talking podcasting. And we, t we use our six senses and people also can relate to it. You cannot relate to news because news is just dumping uh, fear and scarcity on you. Right. You can't relate. Yeah. It's just, I mean, they, they, you, you can't even get a, a picture of, uh, of, uh, uh, Trump or Biden, the true, because everybody's spinning. You right. cannot say, "Hey, well, I mean, if 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 let's say if I was a politician and I had a a problem walking, I had a problem talking, I had something, I would say it. Yeah, so what? I always had a stutter. I told you right away when we talk. I said I'm dyslexic. I stuttered. I, you know, I have that tendency to stutter. Yeah. So uh, and not to think what's what makes that bad or worse to me. It it makes me even stronger because I, I am I can live with that. I can say I'm this I cannot read. I, I wrote am. six books. I, I, I am. I, yeah, exactly. Because you're a being, not not human doing. Right. You're a human being, not a doing. I understand that 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 I understand very well. Yeah. Uh, I agree with you about that on politics, hundred percent. And it, there's no sense in there's, there's not a lick of difference between the two of them. Yep. Why do we feel incompetent to talk about art? Be because we made it a, a, a we made, made, made it a commodity, and commodity is system relevant. And you have to understand uh, uh, the rules and regulation in system relevance, meaning. The, what the quote unquote experts? There's no expert in human centric. See. Because all I want are one human. Yeah. And system relevant, because you, let's say you talk about something artificial, like a, a, a motor that has nothing to do with thing or a computer. In that, you can be an expert. You can be an authority, you know, because you, you do that. But in human centricity, you don't. So when you, when, when something very human centric, like expression of you, for example, becomes, I'm going to say, okay, Dale created this artwork, his podcast. This is his artwork. And now I, I judge and compare all the podcasts all around the world with Dale. Then I say, oh, Dale has no 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 viewers. Dale might be the best human-centric podcast there is. But since you don't have two, 20 million people that listen and you're not getting millions of paid, automatically I make you low. I put mm -hmm. you low. That's why system relevance is actually, it's really, we have to be conscious of system relevance versus human centricity because human centricity created system relevance. The humans create, there's no system that created humans. There's right. humans create systems. That's why they can update them. See what, what the problem is today. We, we have never updated systems while humans have grown. We don't look at humanity anymore with, it's male, female, and 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 race. We look at humans. Oh, they're all one on one. That's a that's a weird. And there's a niche because the the internet shows us. Oh, there's a niche. There's a guy, you know, that that has blue hair. Not all the blue haired guy are in that niche. So we segregated more and more, mm -hmm. which is okay. That's okay because we're all one on one. But this is what needs to be updated in systems right now that they update to our growth that we have grown because humans grow even if they're in prison they grow they grow because of the you grow from experience 
And so the, the system need to update it. And also the system need to be like, the systems need to be like, uh, like artworks. We are collective creator animal. I mean, we created New York, Singapore, Paris, Google, Apple. Yeah. And I always say with Apple, I said, there was not, uh, Steve Jobs didn't create Apple. He was the guy that started soldering in his garage. And because he created something, all the people came in and helped him doing it. But right. without the people, he Steve Jobs would still, there wouldn't be any Apple, nobody would know. And he right. would still sit in his garage. We collectively, we all connected. We help each other out. Yeah, well, we have to. We have to. You know, and, we have, and everybody well, sits in the same boat. But well, we're, we're not all right, but we still need help. Exactly. From an individual, the same as we are. Yep, you exactly. Got help. Yeah. Uh, but Mike, uh, Microsoft is the same way. I love that coffee cup. 100%. 100%. Yeah. Uh, side note, I love your coffee cup. Yeah, thank you. It's almost big enough for me. Exactly. <laughs> no, it's like I need you, you need me for right. having this happen. Right. If you were to I'm not oh I owe you. Oh deal. Oh, 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 oh my god, what should I say? Well, how many can I no? It's you and I dancing, creating this. Right. That's what it is. It's not it's not oh you gotta wait. Michael is the great oh, oh Dale, your podcast is nothing but up Michael. No. Michael cannot even talk if it wasn't there because I can't even do the technology with my dyslexia. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So you know, okay. Yeah, uh, my dyslexia is not too bad, except when it comes to math and numbers. Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And I stutter occasionally. Yeah. All my life I've stuttered. So I understand totally. Yeah. I went through it's human. <laughs> it's human. It's it like is, people but... don't like their body. You know, people don't like their body. I said, nature gave you the body. Nature, God gave you the body. You got to take the card that you dealt with, with you know, you, 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 not trying, oh, I need to change my hair. I need to be taller. I need to be done. No, because you always say I'm not good enough. You are mm -hmm. one of one. How can you not be good enough when you are one of one of eight billion people? You are one, and this scientifically proven, the system relevant proven, and mm -hmm. humanly proven because system relevantly, the DNA fingerprints ears eyes uh, uh, no second one is there and then on the on the side of the human thing look at your family in, in in a family everybody should be the same everybody has a different life perspective just like yeah right that, and that's why why would you punish that because that person believes in god and the other believes in buddha who cares that's their connection whatever you know who cares what what, what they believe yeah you know? I know me and my sister. My sister is a Buddhist. Yeah. Not a question. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. It's a yeah. It's system relevant that cannot function, and it functions. It works. We get along great, and we talk Perfect. about religion and no problems. We talk about Buddha. I, I you know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Her choice is her choice, and she's welcome to it. I don't care. She loves it. Yeah. Exactly. It helps us. You know. Does it say my my religion? Does that for me? Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? It's like saying, oh, I like a red car. Come on, Dale. you got to have a red car. No. He has another car. Who cares? He drives yeah. another car. No, you drive. You need to drive a red Mercedes like I do. No, you don't. You can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. You know? It's really amazing that the way people are, that, you know, they, they got to change everything. you got these men who yeah. want to be women and women who want to be men. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. They want to we, change it when they're perfectly okay the way they are. Know, I'm in the art business and a low, uh, I know a lot of uh, transsexuals. You know, there's yeah. so not a lot, but like five, you know, yeah. five transsexuals. And everyone is totally different. Yeah. Totally different. It's a one-on-one it's -on -one person. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 everybody is different. You cannot generalize, you know? I mean, there's, there's bad white people, they're bad. Uh, you know, uh, black people that big Asian people, and they're also good from everywhere. Yeah. It's 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 the, you get you know whatever the people make out of themselves, and when when you hold on on this generalization, it, all the generalization, 
segregates us. Because think about just what they say about men. Men are pigs, right? And women want the money from the men. Just look at that generalization. It segregates us. Yes. Right. It segregates. It doesn't bring us together. It's just a, you know. <clears throat> we are, as you say, one on one. Yeah. Of one of one. One of one of eight billion. And we are so totally segregated from each other. Yep. As a culture. Yep. And that is dangerous to us. Yep. The whole world, not just the United States, but the whole world is dangerous. Whole world, whole world, yep. Yeah, the, the whole world is in this mess. It's not just the United States, although we got a microcosm view of it because we're in the United States. That's all we hear about is the United States. Yeah. We don't yeah. hear what's going on in Europe. We yeah. don't hear what's going on in China or Japan yeah. or any other stuff. And the detail yeah. that we get in America. Yeah. In America, you don't even get what's going on because oh. I know only what's going on in California Yeah, and, and the big issues in Washington. I don't know what's going on in your neck of the woods. You know, I don't know. Uh, and also the Californian and the New Yorker, they, they always know New York and California. Yeah. But the middle of America, nobody, nobody gives a shit. We're called yeah. Iowa country. And it's true. But it's yeah. a nice place to be. Nice Super country. place. Every time I was in the middle, I was more welcome in the middle of America than on, on the East or West Coast, you know? Yeah. I spent 13 years in California here from 2006 to 2019. Yeah. And not for my health. And uh, it absolutely confused me. Yeah. I couldn't understand it. And I was in Northern California. Yeah. I was 80 miles north of Sacramento. Yeah. In a little small town. And I was still confused with what was going on in California. Yeah. yeah. And then you're not also more confused because when then you listen to the news and the news are the most confusing thing ever because oh, the news oh. is a product of politics, which are lost and, and they're codependent. The politics and the news are codependent. Yes. And actually why we believe them and what it confuses us. Look, if I tell you a lie, you say, I'm a, I'm a Asian woman. If I tell you that, you know, that's a lie, right? You, yeah. you see me, it's a lie. But when I be when be people believe what they talk to each other, then you 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 get confused because we all interconnected, and the politicians and the media they feed each other, so the the, the media shows them the horror of the world. The politics act on that, not on the, hey, what's in my backyard? I need to take care of those people. No, I'm gonna invest in more war and more do, doing something somewhere else. Yeah. And, and we have homeless, and now I've heard, uh, I mean, I hope but that is not true, that you'll be punished because you're ho homeless, that you could have to, f I mean, how can you do that when when America, 65% like of Americans live paycheck by paycheck? How can you be punished for being homeless? I mean, you know, in, 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 in other, I hear other things, they don't wanna, want you to speak. They want to put your fine on a free speech. It, oh, it's yeah. just... We're losing uh, uh, our, we're losing our better rights. Yeah, if that's yeah, just great. Yeah, all of our, our ten of our bill of rights is slowly yeah. and surely taking them away. Yeah, when you not can when you cannot speak, this is what makes wars work, because war is not hatred. War is a powerlessness. When you powerlessness, you go into fight flight. Right. You know, you're putting the, the cutest animal in a corner and pushing the corner, it bites you. Right. So you're going to fight flight, meaning your nature takes over, your DNA, and all of a sudden you can't think rationally. So mm -hmm. when you don't express yourself and have an interaction with the whole, you go into losing your uh, rational thought because you're going into DNA, you become an animal. And that's, you can be very easily manipulated to, to keep wars going forever. Yeah, and paying for them too, because you pay and you get involved in it. So, yeah, we do. Why? Well, can you explain the abundance and potential of art and the poverty of ninety-five percent of the world's white artists? Yeah, because I think I mentioned a little bit before. 
so it's 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 magical what you create. Even your podcast. I, I want to bring it to podcast because it's easier to understand. Mm -hmm. So you're creating a podcast. It's magical. You tweak it. You said, oh, I'm going to make this. Oh, I'm going to do this first or that first. Mm -hmm. So you basically have a conversation with your non-physical on how to do it. Because you when you say, I believe I need a big red background. And then you look at yourself in a bad red background and say, no, that's not me. And then and then you have the normal background, your normal background. So it you tweak and you have a beautiful experience. But then the system relevance comes and says, you have no viewers, you have no listeners. And so you artists just discount the magic that they experienced of creating. And they said, I'm a loser, basically, because that's what system relevance say. If you're not successful and you're not making enough money and you're not being you're a loser and and so they have the magic see when you do a job you don't like then it's 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 just you do a job that you don't and that's what life is but when you have a job that you love but the job doesn't pay anything and the job doesn't do anything you still keep doing the job and that's why you you say i'm not gonna go another job that i hate because mm -hmm. you don't, then you, you do a hating job and you don't make no money. So you have to be human centric because that's what we are. We are part of nature and we are on our first superpower, nature or God or whatever gave us is to create. Because right. otherwise, all our cities would look the same, like mm -hmm. anthills. And when you go to China, it's an anthill. You go to Singapore, it's an anthill. You go to New York, it's an anthill. And you go to Paris, it's an anthill. No, everything looks completely different. Right. And we have creativity. It's our art. It's our that's why systems are our artwork. It's like Augusta, Georgia, the, the masters. That's mm -hmm. how every system should go. When you go to social services, it should be like Augusta, Georgia. It should be like a church. A church. You go in a church and you're in a and, oh my God, this is all of us together doing this. I'm not gonna talk about the religion, but any place of worship, you go and say, Wow, what a thing we humans, we we are something, and you'd be proud to be a human. When you go into a, a system thing, we go to social services, you said, Oh my god, I want to get out of it. You go to the hospital, I want to get out of it. You know, it's just it's just oh, yeah. that's the that's the craziness what we do. That's why we have to update systems. I had a question coming into my mind. I was a chef, culinary chef for yeah. 28 years. Mm -hmm. Long time. I loved it in the beginning, hated it in the end. And I couldn't do anything right. What I yep. made, what I prepared, everybody loved except me. Yep. Uh, and my sister is an excellent artist, but she hates everything she does. Why is that? What makes that? Well, we hate our uh, own because she's comparing herself. It's like you don't like your body, right? You, you want to look different. I want bigger boobs. I want blonde hair. I want to be, you know, I want to get the tummy tuck. I want to do this. It's it's looking at system relevance, what the system relevance is. And we are more afraid of actually looking that we are one of one of eight billion, which is makes you it doesn't allow you to, to hate your stuff. Talk to if your sister listens to this, it doesn't allow you to hate your stuff because you're one of one. Whatever you create is perfect. It doesn't matter. What if you do the best that you can do, then the best that you can do is perfect because you can't do more and you can't do it better and you cannot change yourself. You know, it, it you can adapt, which costs a lot of energy. So yeah, yeah. so if you do the hundred percent best. In in God's eyes and in the nature eyes, I'm I'm not religious. I'm saying nature is our connection to God because we are part of nature, and right. we that's why we understand nature. We're not, you know, we we can't com comprehend God really. So everybody has a different. It's the dirtiest word. Everybody has a different thing, and love is also the dirtiest word. Everybody has their own imagination. But nature, we are part of it. That's why we feel good when we're walking in the thing. We we're talking to a doggy and. We have a good, you know. We see flowers. We smell the roses. It's like it's just, it's just, it's just. We are part of it. That's why we feel so good, and that's the connection to God, nature. So, so when we, 
we we really we got so system relevant over generation. It's not your fault, they or your sister's fault, but over generation it says no. The system is right. The system is God. The system isn't God. Nature is God. You know, the system is we created it, so we can change it. We can change nature. We can exploit it. We can change it. So that's why human centricity is so important. Uh, uh, because the system relevance makes us not enjoy ourselves. Because you, you, if you enjoy yourself, your sister should enjoy the beauty she creates. And it doesn't matter of the outcome. It's the right. process of create whatever she is. I mean, it's the process of creation that is the magic, not what comes out. Yeah. Not okay. not what what comes I out. I mean, that's why the Buddhist the Buddhist made these sand things. You know, it's yeah. just Buddhist, right? They make and then destroy it. Because yeah. it's it's the it's the creation of creating this sand sculptures, uh, and well, and then yeah, the process is the good. Yeah, I I don't think she'll listen to this one, but I'll make sure she gets the message. <laughs> yeah, you just you just hit her over the head with the message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that when I see you Saturday. I yeah. uh, what are the what function has I in uh human human existence? What function what, uh, is that in a human existence? Yeah. Oh, Wait. it's a, it's a it shows us our potential, because remember Star Wars, where they had the the, the you know the uh, not Star Wars, Star Trek, where they had yeah. the, the th like everybody has now an iPad, you know, an iPhone, you know, it's yeah. like art creates the whatever isn't. It's, it shows us the potential. It's basically oh. a guide. It shows us what what's possible, you know. Yeah. Dick Tracy and, watch. Yeah, exactly. It, uh, Dick Tracy watch. Exactly. And I can probably more than what Dick this Tracy, the, Tracy's watch did, the I watch can do more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's, yeah. So so art, art shows us our potential. Art shows us, for example, in a symphony orchestra, it's not about, oh, the 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 the, 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 the conductor is like a CEO. He's the top chief. You know, he's like, uh, no, he's not. He, ha if because in art, everything has to function. The light has to work. The, the 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 curtain has to work. If the curtain doesn't go off, he can have the best player. He has, has the best violin player, the best flutist in the world, and the best conductor. If the curtain doesn't open, there is no concert. Everything right. has to, and it shows us. That's why I say art is such a a great teacher. That's why I'm only focusing on art creation. My podcast is only 30 seconds. It's only about the art creation. It's never about the product. The right. product you can like or not like because you are one of eight, 8 billion people. But 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 it shows us the p potential, what's possible. You know, that uh, uh, it really, it, 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 I have learned so much because I have no education. Dale, I have no, I, I worked, I was eight years in school and yeah. I had to repeat two of them. I was 12 yeah. years old in, in a 10 years class. And you can imagine how that was. Oh, yeah, you I know? can. I was the same way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I failed second grade. Mm -hmm. Twice. Yeah, me too. So, uh, you know, I really understand you quite well. Thank you. Do political, oh, I don't like this, but... Do, do you feel political correctness is not necessary for the arts? Political correctness is zero. It's, it's zero thing because we are 8 billion. You cannot rule. You cannot force people to be a certain way. Political correctness is 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 I, I, awareness is something. Okay, you have tact. You're born a human. You have tact. You know, yeah. you meet a girl, you don't, you don't start farting in front of a girl, you know? Oh. You don't start sneezing her into her face. You have tact. That's a human interaction. Because that's what animals don't do that, you know? They don't mm -hmm. poop on each other, you know? They, it's like you have tact. That is natural. You have gratitude. When you feel balanced, you feel gratitude. You don't have to think about gratitude. You don't have to think about equality because everybody is equal. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are. Because we are one of one, so how can you equality? It doesn't matter because you look have a different look. Then white people need to be segregated too because they all look different. 
Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's 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 crazy because you look different. It is you're one of one. So uh, political correctness is is a generalization on how you should act and how what you should do, and it's a hiding behind system relevance. It's not being the human that you are. Do you want a person that is Hitler, and is uh, is like Hitler? Is is the could be the future Hitler that is walking goose steps in the basement and has flags and daggers and everything? Or do you want somebody saying, you know, I love Hitler. I, I, you know, I rather hear somebody telling me because then I can choose to hang out with him or not. Yeah. You know I what you're saying? Yeah. I, uh, are you aware of how we got political correctness anyway in our lexicon? What what do you say? Political correctness. You know how political correctness entered our language? Where it came from? Where? Vietnam. What happened is after the war, the North Vietnam rounded up all the South Koreans that had worked with the Americans, sent them to camps to be re-educated to become politically correct, to be, follow the communist view. Mm-hmm. So they became politically correct. Mm-hmm. That's where wow. we get from. Yeah. And you know what? The, all the women, all the kids of the, when, when we actually were human centric, when they fell in love, Americans fell in love with, you see, even the war cannot segregate when, when and not that I'm not talking about the rape. I'm just yeah. saying we, we, they, they had interactions. Right. And, and, and the kids, uh, all the kids from rape or not, are now totally ousted. Mm-hmm. When, when, in, in Vietnam, I've, I've, I've just had a friend of mine that came back from Vietnam. He says he couldn't believe that every kid that is not uh, that was from that connection is like uh, outcast again, yeah. racist. It's again, it's so the political correctness is actually more racist yes. because it generalizes. Yes. It, it, you know, yes. it's it's it, because what can a what can a kid of an interaction do it's like what we do We're, like the, the 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 political correctness nurtures racism because what can a kid do that was my dad was america my, my mom was uh, uh vietnamese what can that kid do to undo that there's nothing that kids can do under undo this yeah. and to push on that person and sh- shame it and shun it is exactly what we do now with Palestinians and Jews, with yeah. uh, uh, Ukrainian and Russians, yeah. all over the world, because one person decided we have to have war, or a couple of people. You know, when you look at the, in history, 14 people of the highest thing, the, Hitler was the only one that wasn't educated. The only one. Everybody else was a doctor of thing. 14 people decided to kill Six million Jews. Yeah. Fourteen people in a castle on a lake had a meeting on a weekend and decided that six million Jews will kill. They didn't know how many. They said the Jews need to be killed. Result was six million. Yeah. Fourteen people. It, it the, the concentrated power on top doesn't work. Right. We have to have little tribes everywhere and they all live in harmony. Because also the finding, the, the finding of creativity, the finding, when I talk to you not, hey, you got to come on my side. And you said, no, you kind of come on your side. We can't learn anything. No. When you and I say, hey, wow. that I mean, we, we are the example right here. That's why yeah. podcast is so powerful, you know. Because we can have a conversation without being sh- disagreeable. Yeah. And it's, it. I, how can I disagree? It, look, I can't only be disagree. I can't be disagreeable by saying, oh, that's not me. But how can I say right or wrong? Because then everybody must be the same. If everybody was the same, I would say, yes, all the same. They're not different. There's no difference. And there's more people that are the same that say yes than say uh, say no. Then I could say right or wrong. But everybody is one of one. Mm-hmm. There is no right or wrong. There, there is no... The disagreement is understanding your one on one. That the disagreement yeah. is actually a tool to understand. Oh, this I wouldn't even think about talking. Like like I when I go on podcasts, stuff comes out of me I would have never thought of because of you. 
Because you to ask me, you talk to me, you have an interaction, and that's why the dance with humans is the superpower. Yeah. When you can dance with every human, you learn more than any than any university, and you know that when you go to a top uh, university, you pay five hundred thousand dollars to go there, okay. and you're not paying for the knowledge because the knowledge you can basically have on the internet. Yeah. But 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 it's the interaction with the people of that echelon. Yeah. You haven't you, you know them, it's the human interaction, it's not the knowledge what they give. Okay, I understand I understand that. Uh, I went to college very briefly. It wasn't my thing for sure, and it was in my sixties mm -hmm. before I went to college. Mm -hmm. And I didn't learn a thing that I didn't already know. Yep. Yep. No, because it, H does that natural. H that educates you naturally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's not talk about age. I'm getting too old as it is. <laughs> oh, it's also but that's also system relevant. Oh, with 50, you can't do this. Oh, with 60, you can't do it. Oh, with seven. I've never felt better in my life. I'm 65. Uh, I've never felt better in my life. I was a sick child. I was yeah. my whole life six. I was at 200 doctors and healers. Yeah. I've never yeah. felt better than in my life than now. Good for you, because I have been, I've got, well, you can see I'm on oxygen. Yeah. COPD, and I got two heart conditions. Yeah. And I'm always in the care. In fact, I got this right after this, I got to go to my doctor. Yeah. I my doctor. Um, that it's okay. I'm 74, yeah. and I'm happy. Yeah. That's what it counts. And also your, your body is about. your your body is your best friend. Tomorrow Listen I'll be 74 and just as happy. Exactly. And also listen to your body because your body is your best friend. It's, it's like the, the, the best dog. Listen to your body. Don't just tell. Like I cannot, a, a doctor really can not tell you what's right or wrong. He can. He can say, I suggest this. And then mm -hmm. if you feel good, if you eat the pill and you get sick, that that's not that's not what it is. You you need to feel what what your body tells you what to want. Your body right. is here's nature. He wants to he wants to help you, a and the doctor can can suggest everything and all with his best will. And I'm not against doctors at all, but it doesn't make him make him right because when he generalizes no. humans, then he's and so you can't get generalized with humans. Oh, all humans, all with a, people with a stroke or heart attack needs to do this. No, 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 no. Every single one of one person needs different treatment. And that's that's the update of system. Also, the medical system is updating now with AI where it's individual. It's not about, oh, you have a heart attack. They just found out, by the way, that when your whole family had heart attacks, it's mental. It's not in the DNA. My dad was dying with 52 in a heart attack and have nothing. I mean, I doesn't say, say I, I might not die tomorrow, but I'm saying I have nothing with, with this. So, and, and all his kids have nothing with hearts. So it, 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 it doesn't mean because that's a big excuse. Oh, and then mentally we make us ready for a heart attack. When, when you say, oh, if all the, the people in your life, in your life had heart attacks, you got to, you got to be very careful. And mm -hmm. in that, you you actually weaken yourself. You program yourself to get so a heart attack. You talk yourself into a heart attack, what you do. Exactly. Like exactly. my grandfather, my grandfather and my father both yeah. talked themselves into the grave. They were mm -hmm. healthy. They were doing fine. They just talked, sit there in their chair yeah. and talked themselves into the grave. Yeah. Like, what a waste. What a yeah. waste. And they do the same thing with diabetes now and because it's the money. Yeah. You know, it's the the third the third cause of death is medical care because medical care was and all healings i'm not t talking just a i'm just saying the people it becomes a business when the mm -hmm. business becomes more important than helping you and dancing with you and helping you because they need to feed their kids too see everybody there's nobody excluded it's not like the bad doctors no it's not the bad the system needs to be updated to 101, not to generalization. Right. And then, because when generalization is, we we, we segregate and we, we we kill ourselves. Yeah, we have about nine minutes here. Let's, let me ask you this one question. How do That's we upgrade the system? How we? How, how, do, how do we upgrade we? the system? 
You've mentioned it many, many times. I, I update. We have to update. Not uh, you can't. When the most you break a system, you you fight ultimately with humans. That's why I'm yeah. so pro system. I'm very pro system. Yeah. And I think if the system were like if you if every system you go to is like the masters in Augusta, it's mm -hmm. like a church. Don't, would you think would you be against system? No, because they take care of you. They love you. You know, you feel well in in an environment that is human, has art, is beautiful. You know, so. Mm -hmm. I am for updating systems. I'm not ever for fighting systems. Fight any time you fight a system, you fight against all the people that are dependent on that system to exist. How do you upgrade? Upgrade? Being conscious. What do you first of all listen to us? Listen yeah. to this episode and say, okay, that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. I'm one of one. I'm not right or wrong. I'm just mm -hmm. telling you what, what I think. So you, uh, or what I feel. So I would, I would, there's so much to do update system. There's so much easy. If you're just looking at the execution of humans in systems as not, we have to do this for the woman. We have to do this for the gay guys. We have to do this for lesbians. We have to do this for that. No, everybody's one of one. Everybody's one of one. And we have to look at humans as one of one. And if there's a, I bet this one or I bet that one, they're bad. So what? It is not because they're in that group and they don't have a right in that group to be good. Oh, because I'm a, uh, whatever. I'm a special dyslexic guy. I should yeah. be, I, I'm a dyslexic guy. So you have to do everything I say. No, that's politically correct. That's generalization. Uh, yeah. I, I, just that. I know what you are Dale, Dale, just this, just seeing humans as one on one is enough update because yeah. the th once the people are aware of it, yeah. the change happens automatically. But I am so with you on that, that we yeah. don't have to treat special populations as special populations. Yeah. yeah. It's we like you running around. Different. Yeah. It's like you running around and they have your oxygen and said, Oh, I have oxygen. I, I can do this. I can poop on this table. I can do this. I can do It's crazy. No. Oh. You know, yeah. so I am so with you that I will yeah. populate. I will populate the uh, internet with a lot of this. Get this advertised really well when I publish it. It's going to be about two weeks, maybe yeah. a bit longer. Whenever you want, whenever you want, Dale. I'm not going to push you. And you I do it whenever you, you do. I will send you a uh, notification through Podnet that yeah. uh, that you've been published. Yeah. yeah, and I'm yeah. gonna send you on Podmatch. I send you all my links, yeah. So you see, and then connect with me, and I connect back to you, right? And then, and then we cross promote. So when when this comes out, we cross promote okay. because this is a very human episode, and our common denominator is being human, right? right? right. It's not being right. woman. It's not being man. It's not being Republicans. It's not being Democrats. It's we are humans, and that's yeah. our common denominator. And if we want to talk, we want to talk to all humans, not just to certain humans. You know? Oh, you're right. I, I, I just am so against this special populations taking care system of System relevance, bullshit. Oh. Totally bullshit. Oh. System, system relevance. What the system says is generalizing humans. No. When every time you generalize humans, humans, you segregate them. Well, yeah, my great, 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 great grandfather was a slave, so you have to treat me different. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So long, so long. But uh, will you, Mitchell? I mean, you have been an incredible guest, and I really enjoyed you. Yeah, me too. Me too. Had the great, I was had a great time. Uh, they learned a lot. Remember yeah. a lot that I'd already learned anyway. And you can, you can always do it again. Uh, Dale, if you need don't me, don't be surprised yeah. if I write you and say, "Let's do this again." Yeah, uh, and and it, and it, and you can also, if people have questions and say, "No, I don't agree with you guys," yeah. we can take all those guys on because yeah. human centricity is, is counting. We as humans, we're not systems. Well, I got a human first. <laughs> yeah, amen to that one. Well, I gotta go. So okay. Thank you very much, William. Uh, Michael, I don't know why I'm getting William. Uh, see, they Michael. did the same out I did with you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, have a marvelous day. You too. Uh,
Good to, good to meet you, Dale. Yes, it is. Thank you for listening to the show. There are show notes and a place to comment at https colon forward slash forward slash coffee dash time dash again dot lips and dot com forward slash website. He hopes that you liked what you heard and will tell others about him. Dale is attempting to get a following that both disagrees and agrees with him. He does not want yes men. If you disagree, wonderful. He is happy to have you here as a part of the Coffee Time Again team. Dale does not talk about the news of the day. He is attempting to give a history lesson that is just as important about what is going on in the headlines of today. Please do not hesitate to contact him. Just remember that Dale wants a clean show, meaning no cussing, name calling, yelling, or hate aloud. You can disagree with him and not be disagreeable about it. Support him and keep help keep this alive. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash glow dot FM forward slash coffee dash time dash again. Mm-hmm.